the CM says, two brothers are fighting and the government is like a father mediating between shame. them. Isn't this a shame? With the heavy security blanket the state has. The state of Manipur has the highest ratio of police personnel to civilians in India. 161 companies of central forces, including Assam rifles, are present in Manipur. And yet, the government has failed the people. The silence of the union government, the prime minister, and the inaction of the state government, which watched as houses burned, police armory was looted, and people killed each other. Women were being humiliated, stripped, paraded, raped, violated, and killed. Shame. This Shame. double engine stood hand in hand watching the, it all happening, saying brothers are fighting. The videos of these two women who were paraded naked and raped shook the conscience of the nation and the world. The 21-year-old girl's father and brother were killed when they were trying to protect her. So, when the mob caught this family, they ran to the police gypsy which was there. They begged them to take them in the gypsy to somewhere safe. But the policemen refused. Shame. When they got into the gypsy, they allowed the mob, the violent mob, to pull these two women out, and the father and the brother, out of the gypsy. And the policemen were watching in silence. When the father was killed and the brother was killed, and these two women were stripped, the state police, the Women National Women's Commission, and the State Women's Commission were all silently watching. Maybe they were wishing that this will miraculously vanish till the videos, unfortunately, went viral. And after many weeks and months, five or six people out of the mob were arrested. But time and again, these women were asking why no action was taken against these policemen who handed them over to the violent mob. But till yesterday, the government chose to keep silent and it did not respond. The people have been mentioning Draupati in this house. Sir, the people have been mentioning Draupati from Mahabharata in this house and how she was humiliated and stripped. So these women also must have prayed to some god to come and help them. God nor the government came to help these two women. And anybody who has read the Mahabharata properly knows that it is not the perpetrators of the crime who were alone who were punished but the silent spectators who stood there like trees watching her being humiliated were also punished. They will be punished like they, were, they will be punished when they were silent in Hatras, Katwa, Unau, Bilkis Banu, and when the wrestlers were protesting. The country, the nation, India, the mothers of India will punish them. So there, were, there are hundreds of relief camps. There are hundreds of relief camps. But there is no food, no water. It is overcrowded with no proper sanitation. The roofs are leaking and children have to live there. They cry out of fear and hunger. Is this what you call relief camps in this country? You don't even want to reach out to people who've lost everything, who had to walk for days to save their lives. You can't give them food. You can't give them protection. You can't ensure that the roofs don't leak. At Bishnupur, a woman said that people are saying my son has been killed, but I haven't seen his body. I refuse to believe that he's been killed. His best friend has told her that the son was killed, but she refuses to believe that he was killed because she lives in hope. She says, I hope that someday he'll come back alive to me. This is not just one mother who's saying this. There are brothers, fathers, families who wait 
hoping that their loved ones are alive somewhere. Even if they are injured, they are there somewhere. A Meti girl in one of the camps asked me, you have come to see us, but why hasn't the chief minister or the prime minister bothered to come and visit us? We have lost our homes, families, livelihood. I will never go back to my home. I will never feel safe there. The government has let me down. Why hasn't anybody come here to wipe my tears? But instead of listening to her pain and comforting her, the BJP fake news team manufactures a narrative saying that she told us, she told the India team that I have faith in the Prime Minister. Why have you come here? Sir, the truth is, the, it, whether it is the Kukis, Nagas or Meiti, we only saw despair and despondency in their eyes. I request the Prime Minister, this government, to reach out to these people and say that we care and justice will be done. Can't you do that much for people who have been hurt, who are bleeding? Sir, we went there to say India stands with you. We would like to know whether the government stands with them. Yes, yes, yes. The Chief Minister of Manipur has been blaming the Kukis and the Naga people for the drug there and the drug cultivation. But a former SP, Ms. Brinda, blames the Chief Minister, the Chief Minister's office and the Manipur government for it. Shame. There have been many stories in the newspapers earlier that the pesticides and fertilizers which are being the pesticides and the fertilizers which are being sent to the state are diverted for poppy cultivation and not for food production. Shouldn't we find out the truth? Should not there be a proper inquiry into what has been really happening? You brought the Sengol to the new parliament with big pomp and show. You said it is a Chola tradition. You don't know Tamil Nadu history properly. Have you heard about the Pandian Sengol? The Pandian Sengol which burnt, which shattered when the King Pei failed the common people. Do you know the story of Kandagi? Please stop imposing Hindi on us and go read the Silapadigaram. It has a lot of lessons to teach you all.